Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Remon 3D lens. This is a VR compatible 3D camera lens kit which attaches through a clip onto your existing phone's camera and then tries to split the image into two lenses that allows you to then view it back using a head-mounted display, a Google Cardboard, into something that has a 3D effect. Now of course because it is just a clip there are no real electronic components inside which means it's very simple to just attach and to start using, basically compatible with universal smartphones, any device. Even if you have multiple lenses on your phone, just attach it onto the primary camera lens and it should work for both iOS and Android. Now the only downside here is the price is pretty high for something that seems like quite a simple design. Uh, it's selling for around $60 right now because it is something that's produced and manufactured in Korea. Here is their promotional video that shows how the kind of lens works. Uh, again, if you are really interested in, into creating 3D content or VR-ready content, it's a little bit tricky, of course, to do with our existing phones because oftentimes uh, the lenses aren't optimized for that, or in some cases, they don't even have two lenses, like on older iPhones, uh, for example. This is a way to add that functionality now they also do sell other types of products as well, including even 3D viewers. So for them, the Ramon is just an extension of their catalog. And if we look inside here, they also do have a very portable 3D cardboard uh, kind of viewer that they also sell for a lot cheaper. It's about $20 or so that they've also sent over as part of the kit. So you can use this to fold into a Google Cardboard uh, and attach it onto your phone if you don't have one already. But this is the lens itself and you can view it back in 3D using your headset. Um, otherwise, it comes in what looks like four different colors and uh, also is using what they claim as good enough lenses as far as the quality is concerned. There is no companion app, by the way, for this product, so all we need to do is open up the existing camera app on our phone and it should be uh, up and ready to use. Uh, we do have a quick user manual though in the box, which just uh, simply tells you how to attach it onto your phone. So we have the red edition here and there is a kind of mounting clip that's pre-attached. We'll take a closer look at this in a second. Down below here we have another mounting clip. And there's just a soft microfiber pouch to protect the lens when you are traveling or on the go. So taking a closer look at the Remon lens itself, again it is made out of a glossy polycarbonate plastic, uh, but it does look and feel pretty sturdy. It just says Remon 3D lens, and on the rear this is what it looks like, has a soft touch material that adds some resistance and prevents it from scratching the back of your phone when you're attaching it. And this is what the first clip, which is attached using a screw, looks like. If we want to switch it for the other adapter clip that we see here, which is actually vertically aligned. So this clip uh, basically would work by attaching it onto the side of your phone, kind of like this, and that's where the lens should be positioned onto an angle, versus uh, this adapter here, which you would attach like this onto maybe the center point if your camera lens is towards the bottom or towards the center, that's how you would position it. Now, both of these adapters, by the way, have a moving hinge, so to prevent it from moving around, once you have it aligned, you can actually pop this along to add as kind of a uh, blocker. And finally, we can see that this is what it looks like. It just divides your camera lens into two halves, and that's how it's able to produce that 3D stereographic effect. Now, there is some basic setup which they uh, want you to achieve in the phone settings before you start taking images. Uh, first of all, you need to change the aspect ratio of your camera to 16 by 9, uh, as opposed to, say, 4 by 3, so make sure you change that. Afterwards, you can just start taking images and recording video directly. And here's kind of what the Remon looks like once attached onto the back. So it definitely adds some bulk and obviously isn't meant for you to just directly, you know, put away into your pocket or jeans. You do need to remove it each time uh, if you want to put it away. So anyway, so if we go back to the viewfinder here, you can see that focusing is not really disrupted. It still works quite well and I can just snap an image, you know, as quick as before because it's not using a proprietary app or anything. Simply it's still using your regular phone's camera app. Now as I'm getting more shots here, one thing that you will notice is sometimes the focus will still occasionally get out of uh, balance because it's trying to focus on the lens itself uh, since it's picked up some lint and some dust pieces. So make sure you keep these really clean. The quality of the images themselves split into these two halves don't seem to be really degraded either, so the lens does seem to be quite effective there for the most part. So I've captured a number of samples here, let's try and see what it looks like using their viewer. Because it is so compact, it's not going to give you the most immersiveness, uh, that is, it doesn't have the entire phone enclosed, uh, so if you have some light in the background, it might be a little bit distracting, but this one really focuses on portability, it's as small as something that you can put into your pocket, which is kind of cute. But anyways. 
um, if we can open up the two flaps of the lens, and then we simply snap it into this little holder compartment here, uh, dividing our image into two halves. And if we look inside of the lenses, we will get uh, kind of one merged 3D image. What I can say is that the experience certainly does work. Again, it's not really black magic, just putting these two images together, uh, just like any other 3D camera, really just uh, creates a pretty convincing uh, 3D looking object. Uh, uh, the edges which are closer to you uh, seem within reach and then points that are further from you, you do get that real sense of depth, which is uh, actually very uh, cool, especially for the first time when you put them on. The quality of the images themselves are not going to be the best in the world, um, just because the lens does still add a tiny amount of distortion to your shots uh, compared to your regular lens or if you're getting a dedicated camera just for this. But overall, it's definitely good enough just for playing around with, sharing with friends and family if they also have a 3D viewer or a cardboard, and they can also view back the images. Overall though, I'd say that the lens works better than expected, even though I still think it's very niche and a bit of a gimmick. Um, to be 100% honest, if even 360 cameras are on their way out these days, it's a fad that seems to have passed, then uh, there's probably a reason why, again, this isn't a feature that's built directly onto smartphone cameras uh, here in 2019. But if it, this is a function that you want to play around with, it certainly is a cool toy, and uh, not to mention the effect is, again, better than you'll expect coming from a mechanical kit. My only reservation is that the price is, I think, a little bit too steep for something that's basically adding two lenses onto the back of your phone. You're basically paying for uh, the unique design. It's still cheaper for sure than, say, a dedicated camera that maybe has its own battery and you would need to connect using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. That also would be more tedious to set up. Uh, so overall, I think that the idea and implementation here is pretty clever. Construction quality is also quite good. It's just that the pricing, I still think, is a little bit on the high side. But overall, if you do want a way to capture 3D VR images using your existing camera lens, this actually works surprisingly well. And it's a pretty interesting gadget accessory, camera accessory, to take a closer look at. So you can check out more details in the links down below but for now that's been our video thanks for watching here at os reviews that's been the remon lens 